Okay, today I got a good one for you. Well, if it's a good one if you like power tools, particularly cordless power tools. Right here, I have a drill and impact set. I have Ryobi, DeWalt, and Milwaukee. The other day, I'm in the store and I'm deciding on which one to buy and it's hard. You see the specs on the box, you see the specs on the drills. Which one is the best? I don't know. So I said I'm buy all three and I'm put them through some real world tests and then see which one I like. Let's get started. These are the tests that I'm going to run on the drill and the impact drivers. On the drills, I have 4x4, four four, I have a 4x4 four four and a 4x6 and I'm going to take this kit right here this little Ryobi 31 piece drill driver kit the drill bits can go through wood, metal, plastic, masonry I don't think they, I don't think Ryobi gets in their bag just because I'm using this kit so I'm, I'm take the drills and I'm going to see how easy they go they drill, what is this, a one inch a one inch hole, I'm going to see how easy and deep and fast they could drill a one inch hole into the 4x4 then with the impacts, I have these large, these large four inch by half inch bolts. And I'm gonna see which impact can drill it into the four by six, the fastest, the deepest, the easiest. Then with the impacts, I'm gonna see which one can take lug nuts off, torque down to 100 foot pounds. Before I get to the test, I'm gonna zoom you in a little closer so we can go over the build quality, how they feel in my hand, um, look at the bags, weigh them, give you the length, give you all the specs, and then we'll get to the fun part. The Milwaukee was 180, the DeWalt was 180, and the Ryobi was 150. All three of them came with two batteries, but at least when I bought mine, the Milwaukee, it came with a third battery, so you get three batteries, two batteries, two batteries. This is what you get right out of the box on all sets. The impact drivers on all of them had the belt clips. The belt clip can be placed on the left or right side on all three. And on the Milwaukee, the belt clip can be placed on the drill on the right or left side. On the DeWalt, the belt clip can be placed on the right or left side on the drill. And on the Ryobi, the belt clip can only be placed on the impact and not the drill. The Milwaukee, this thing just feels solid. I mean, this keyless chuck, it's all metal, nice spin. You have your one, two, which they all have that adjusted. This is just a well built drill right here. Well built drill. The impacts. The exact same. You know, comes with a little light. You feel like this thing is never gonna break. That's what you feel. Looking at the DeWalt, not that the DeWalt feels bad at all, but this is a hard plastic. You can also adjust it one to two. And you know, this the keyless chuck, it feels solid as well, just not as good as the Milwaukee. Your impact. This feels like a, on the Milwaukee, this feels metal. This feels like a hard plastic. Feels like a hard plastic. And then on your Ryobi, again, the keyless chuck is a hard plastic. And this is also plastic right here. And on, this feels like metal. Feels like metal. So for build quality, I would give it to Milwaukee. This thing just feels, it just feels so tough. Since I turned it on, that's what it sounds like. Here's the DeWalt. And the Ryobi. No, no, opinionated. On your Milwaukee, you get a light on the drill. On the DeWalt, you get a light on the drill. And on your Ryobi, no light. On your impact, 
on the door, you get a light. On your impact on the Milwaukee, you get a light. And there's no light on the impact of the Ryobi. This is what the batteries look like, and this is how you put them on. Squeeze for the Milwaukee, squeeze comes off forward. Nice solid click. And it has an indicator button. Press that, fully charged. That's pretty cool right there. On your DeWalt, you also press the button in the front and it slides. There's no indicator on the DeWalt battery. And on the Ryobi, the Ryobi battery is the only one that comes off from underneath. You squeeze underneath. The good thing, uh, and there's no indicator on the Ryobi. Here's one advantage that the Ryobi has, the other two don't. You can put your bit in and it has a little magnetic tray. This is what your batteries look like. Plug your battery in and with the DeWalt you slide it forward, clicks into place and it blinks to let you know when it's charging. On your Ryobi, on the Ryobi, it goes straight down, locks into place, and it blinks to let you know that it's charging as well. And then on the Milwaukee, the Milwaukee, it slides down into place. And the Milwaukee, it just has a solid light, but on the battery itself, you can tell when it's full because it gets to the fifth indicator. Uh, the good thing about the Milwaukee, you can also charge your 12 volts along with your 18 volts. I'm going to start with the DeWalt bag. It closes down, then when you unzip it, it opens to a real wide mouth. You can see everything in the bag, and you have two pockets on the sides. With your Milwaukee bag, same deal. When you unzip it, it opens up wide, and it doesn't have any pockets. Your Ryobi, it unzips one zip this way and it's a lunch pail style bag they all three of them have one zipper and bag wise it's not an issue all of them will do the job sitting here holding the drills just holding them you know seeing which one feels the best in my hand just the drills just the drills even though the Ryobi is the heaviest one and the DeWalt is the lightest I like how the DeWalt I like how the DeWalt fits in my hand. I do like that. It's it's rubberized. It's rubber tied all the way around. Real comfortable in the hand. The Milwaukee, you have rubber on the back and the front. And you have a little bit of plastic right here where your thumb slides. And the Ryobi, it's pretty much rubber all the way around. The Ryobi is a little thicker. And at least for me, I like the Ryobi better. Maybe I just have bigger hands than normal, I don't know, but I like the Ryobi better. My daughter, she seemed to like the DeWalt. Obviously she has smaller hands, and both of us picked the Milwaukee last just for feel. The, the, the Milwaukee does not feel bad at all, just compared to the other three. I personally like the Ryobi, then the DeWalt, then the Milwaukee, but they all do feel nice in the hand. Now on to the fun part. I'm about to take this one inch drill bit, put it in all three drills, and drill into this 4x4. Four four. I'm going to see who could drill in the fastest, the easiest, and the smoothest. I'm going to put all three on the screen at the same time. Let's check it out. Now before we move on to the next test, using all three drills with this one inch drill bit, that Milwaukee, like I said, I haven't seen the times yet, I gotta look at the film myself, that Milwaukee went through this very, very fast and easy. To me, it was Milwaukee, 
to walk right over you. But hey, they all did it. Maybe you don't need a one inch hole drilled through a four by four. This is a five sixteenths wood bit. Again, I'm gonna start with the Ryobi first. See how good the Ryobi tackles this. As expected, nothing. That was absolutely flawless. Here's the DeWalt. Like expected, nothing. And the Milwaukee. You know, all of them, all three of them went through this 4x4 with this, as I said, this, this 5 16 They all went through like it was absolutely nothing. The Milwaukee again seemed to do it the best, but they all went through it. Next up, I have these three inch screws, and I'm gonna see how easy they screw three inch screws into a uh, 4x4. Starting with the Ryobi first, zero pilot holes. No problem there. No problem. As expected, no problem. Now I'm going to switch over to the DeWalt. Okay. Switch over to the Milwaukee. Man, I think it's power. I did have it on screw. Milwaukee is ridiculous. So far I did a one inch hole, a five sixteenths, and then I just drilled in three three inch screws. For me, this Milwaukee is bad. This thing is going through this stuff. This drill is went through this four by four like it was nothing. For me it goes Milwaukee and then the Ryobi and DeWalt, those are a close second. So far, I am rolling with this Milwaukee. Now, right here, I have a little small cinder block, and I'm gonna take this, what size bit is this? This is a 5 16 Okay, this is a 5 16 mason bit. And I'm see just how easy it goes through this. Okay, let me go to one. For the next test, I took the one inch drill bit, attached it to all of the impact drivers in the hex drive, and then drilled through the same 4x4 pieces of wood. I'm going to put all three of them on screen like the prior test. Let's take a look. the hex drive I'm just going to 
drive those same three three inch screws in and see how they work. This is the Ryobi first. Not a problem. Not a problem. That was the Ryobi. Switch into the DeWalt. The walk did seem to be a little easier than that Ryobi. It did seem the DeWalt did seem to go through a little better than the Ryobi. Let's see the Milwaukee. Man, this Milwaukee just goes through stuff like butter. This Milwaukee is something special. Man, this Milwaukee. Okay, okay. Stop getting excited, it's just a drill. Here's the test I've been waiting for. Here's my four inch, four by half inch bolt. Here is a four by six. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see which one can drive this bolt all the way down. I'm gonna use the drill first. This is the Ryobi drill. And then I'm gonna use the impact. This is a 19 millimeter socket, zero pilot hole. Put it on one to give it the most torque. Let's see what it can do. Okay, that's... That's where uh, the Ryobi stopped. I don't know if it just stopped because, I don't know, but that's where it stopped. This is our number one as well. Here's the DeWalt. Okay. The DeWalt stopped there as well. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Let's see. Maybe this is just too much for all of them. Wow. Wow. That this Milwaukee is something special. It has so much torque, it was turning me. Let me. <laughs> That's the wow. This Ryobi, I mean, this Milwaukee. Take these out. This Milwaukee is something special. To tell you the honest truth, I didn't think that any of the drills would be able to drive a bolt that thick into a piece of 4x6 eh, I really want to know what these impact drivers would do same piece of wood I'm going to use three new holes here's the Ryobi up first again no pilot hole the Ryobi, move to the DeWalt,
it might I'm just letting you know the wood is splitting that might have helped the the DeWalt I went and got another 4x6 because I think the Ryobi had cracked the wood and it made it a little easier for the DeWalt so I'm going to do the DeWalt again Where the socket touched the wood, so maybe the Dwarf didn't need any help. Okay. Now, here is the Milwaukee. Make sure there's no crack in the wood. Come way over here. Alright, let's see. Milwaukee seemed to be picking up steam. It was getting its second win. Man. Okay, the last test, I'm going to use the impacts to take a lug nut off. This is the test I've been waiting for. The car is on the ground. I just torqued each lug nut down to 100 foot-pounds. I'm going to start with the Ryobi, and I'm going to see if it can take these lug nuts off. Put it on reverse, see if we can take a look at it off. Okay, the Ryobi did not take a look at off. Let's go with the Milwaukee, um, sorry, let's go with the DeWalt. Different lug nut. Okay, the DeWalt took the lug nut off. Let's go to the Milwaukee. <clears throat> okay, now I'm done putting the drills and the impact drivers through their test. Going into this, this wasn't really a challenge because I want one of these tools and I want the best one. Tell you the truth, going in, I was wanting this Ryobi to be the best because I already have Ryobi parts and as you know the batteries are interchangeable and I wanted that one to win. It was the cheapest and I wanted that one to win. The DeWalt is DeWalt. It feels very good in the hand. It's yellow. It's DeWalt. Then my winner, which you probably guessed, is this Milwaukee. This Milwaukee it's just a good all-around bargain. First of all it's the same as the DeWalt so it doesn't even cost more. Second you get three batteries. The batteries have indicators where you press and you can see how much life is left in the battery. For me this is the best one. It went in easier. It feels more heavy-duty. This is just a good all-around impact. Good all-around drill. Now with that being said, if all of these were the same price, I would go with Milwaukee. If somebody said you can have one for free, I don't care because they all got the job done. The Milwaukee just did it the best. That's just my own personal opinion, but like I said, this really wasn't a challenge. It was which one of these tools are going to be the best for what I need a tool to do. For me, again, keep saying it, broken record. I like this Milwaukee, I like the Milwaukee. So, uh, with that being said, 
I'm going to conclude the video as usual. Appreciate your time. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Be sure to get back at you. You guys have a good one. Thank you.